happened in Oklahoma City? <laughs> well, a lot did and, and a lot didn't, you know, and it's uh, obviously a frustrating night uh, in a lot of different areas. Um, probably, <clears throat> you know, it's we've we've got to find um, and, and be better at at consistently getting better in all phases of the offense week to week. You know, we haven't been able to stack two or three where, you know, uh, all areas have, have been improving. And that's been uh, obviously uh, disappointing. You know, I think uh, um, biggest things is, is when you're on the road, we have to take care of the football and, and we can't get penalties and, and have mental errors. And uh, obviously it's uh, any any time you take uh, little, you know, it's, it's very easy to start taking little things for granted, you know, and, and that's from our perspective it starts with us as a staff and, and, you know, down to our players and, and those little, those little, little things add up really, really fast. And, and that, that's what leads to a performance like that. Does that impact our <clears throat> confidence at all? Uh, you know, I, I know, uh, shoot, uh, I know he was, he was hurting for sure. You know, after after a loss like that, and and you play the quarterback position at, at a high level, at one point or another, uh, uh, it's you know sometimes you you know it may happen you know and, and those those stick with you. I know I was uh, one comes to mind for myself you know and and so that's never a never a good deal. But as far as a true confidence thing, uh, I, I don't believe so. You know I think he's. Uh, because of uh, the confidence he has is, is genuine and real and something that he's built over a long period of time and uh, knows the belief that uh, I have in him, coach has in him, and, and we all, his teammates have in him that, uh, you know, it's obviously something you never want to have to have to go through. But, but at the end of the day, it's, uh, you know, it's, uh, uh, it was a tough one, but he'll, he'll be fine. What does Texas Tech present defensively? No, they, uh, <clears throat> they're, a, they're a really long group. Uh, they got really good length up front. I think they're twitchy. I think they got good pass rushers, and they'll let those uh, four guys up front pin their ears back and, and come after you a little bit. And uh, uh, you know they'll play a lot of man coverage, and, and they got some length and, and some some good cover guys in the back end. And uh, you know, and they'll be aggressive. You know, they were aggressive against us last year, and uh, it's something we're going to have to make sure that we handle and, and uh, take take one step at a time. As a former quarterback, where's the Demarcation line between discouraging turnovers and uh, not going too far into con overly conservative play. Uh, that's uh, that's a uh, good question. I mean, and that's because you know we you know you gotta you, we still have to be aggressive. Will's going to be aggressive, and and that's uh, you know one of one of Will's strengths too is you know when you, when you have a player like him, I mean he will and has put the ball in some tight windows, you know, over the course of, uh, you know, over the course of time. And so biggest thing again is uh, in, in a lot of those situations from a coaching standpoint is, hey, how did we build the play? You know, what was I asking of him based on coverage ID, based on situation? What did he, what was the information he had when the time he had to make the decision? You know, and sometimes those are the things that you try to look at to try to, from the player standpoint, and then from a staff standpoint, you know, we, we've got to just make sure that, uh, you know, again, we're able to do and, and, and maintain good balance. We've got to create more explosive plays, obviously, in the past game and uh, keep pushing through and, and working through to build those things. Because if, if we don't push ourselves, then at the end of the day, we're not going to get any better at them anyways. So. You've played Avery in some games, you've played <coughs> two in others. What's gone into those decisions? And is it just a week by week thing with him? Yeah, to, to this point, um, you know, at least when it's when it's been close, uh, <clears throat> you know, it's been a little bit of a feel, been a little bit of a uh, schematically some of the things that we had in the game plan for uh, how what we thought we were going to get to to provide us an advantage. Um, you know, I think we've got a good plan for uh, for Avery moving forward. Uh, you know, in this week, but uh, but obviously, uh, will will be the main you know the main guy. Uh, you know, so that's kind of how uh, you know we've worked it, but. Um, again, he's uh, not, uh, you know, he's he's he, he's going to be just fine. Are there, are there any other receivers we haven't seen a ton of this season? You think could still help you moving forward? Uh, you know, I think there's a chance. You know, I, I think there's a there's a couple young guys that uh, uh, you know could get in there. I'd say probably Jace Brown would jump to the top of the list uh, in, in my head for that. That uh, uh, might get on the field and, and have a chance to make an impact. Uh, Coach McGuire mentioned on his 
news conference that this could be like a war. He's a st starter versus starter. If you got like guys in the trenches, this is going to be a war. Um, do you kind of see it that way that it's going to be a, a big battle like that? Uh, I, I definitely do. I mean, it's <coughs> excuse me. Uh, definitely, I remember every time I went down to Lubbock as a player for sure. You know, and it's a uh, be an evening game, a hostile environment, and and uh, you know, I think uh, again, I think they're a physical bunch. I think they're an aggressive bunch, and and it's uh, it's going to come down to who's able to. Uh, to execute and make some plays and, and not make some mistakes. I mean, that's, it, 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 I think it's a good description. How do you think you guys have handled playing on the road so far? Well, so far, obviously not great because we haven't obviously been able to win. But, but, but I think it's you know it's, it's bigger than that. And I think there's, um, you know, I think there's again a lot of those little things that I'm talking about. You know, to be that give you a chance to. To win tight games on the road, and, and at times when you get into one of those wars where where it might be ugly, you know, and, and that's uh, something we we have to grow and, and and get better and get through is hey, how do we, uh, you know, are able to batten down the hatches, focus, execute, not make mistakes, and 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 get into a battle on the road in, in a hostile environment and and, and come out on top because we we've been close, you know, and it's uh, unfortunately uh, haven't been able to get over the hump.